After a couple of weeks away, it's DJ Draper back here with another edition of the AWF Insider. We're so glad you're with us as we peek ahead to the upcoming AWF event. In fact, the final American Wrestling Federation live event of 2021. It's coming at you this coming Saturday night, December 18th from Lake Mills, Iowa at the Lake Mills Community School as we present to you Who Let the Dogs Out? Action kicks off at 7 p.m. You'll see the revolutionary Bill Williams face Cold Stone Tim Boston. The anarchist Eric Cannon squares off against NDS's The Young Gun Riley Jackson. The up-and-coming tag team The Prodigal Sons will be in action. Silver bells, Christmas trees, fruitcake platters, and even ceramic statues of snowmen and even old Saint Nick will all be legal in the holiday street fight which features Stonehenge taking on downtown Petey Brown. And finally, for the American Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship, Kyle Pro looks to continue his 14th month reign as champion and continue the program's reign of terror when he takes on the charismatic K-9, Yellow Dog. Now let's preview the upcoming event from Lake Mills, Iowa with our AWF superstars. Cold Stone Tim Boston, professional wrestling's resident ice cream man, you know Tim? I don't know if you know this about me because I don't like to talk about it all that much, but I am 98% vegan, meaning there is just a small amount of room in my diet for some ice cream every now and then, assuming of course that, that ice cream is ethically sourced. But when it comes to the kind of gluttonous ice cream consumption that you promote, I simply can't get behind it. I mean, that giant scoop that you carry out to the ring holds more ice cream than any one man should consume in an entire year. So this is how I'm thinking about our match this weekend. This weekend, when I face you in Lake Mills, Iowa, it's more than a wrestling match. I am going to score a victory for veganism, or at least almost veganism. And then afterwards, when we're talking about our match, and I'm coaching you about all the things that you did wrong that led to your ultimate defeat, if you'd like, I can also give you some ideas for some plant-based snacks that you can use to supplement your diet. Like these vegan corn dogs right here. Mm. Ethically delicious. the 18th, I've got an opportunity to prove that I belong in an AWF locker room. I go one-on-one -on -one with the revolutionary Bill Williams, the perfect combination of size and strength, speed and agility. Now, Bill, the last two matches that I've had haven't, haven't gone my way, but there's an old saying about third time's a charm. So I want you to bring your best, because you know I sure as hell am. And what's that, what's that saying? That fortune favors the cold. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. That's probably what Santa Claus would say if he was still alive. But unfortunately, for all you little idiots, I mean, the little children watching the family-friendly programming of the AWF, Santa Claus is dead. <laughs> And this all could have been avoided if only he would have drank the Fiji instead of drinking too much eggnog before taking those reindeer for that test run. But I digress. Instead of that, let's talk about something important. Let's talk about the gift that keeps on giving. Stonehenge! America's favorite stepdad. Now, America's favorite Santa, Old Stony Claus. That's right, the program is ready to give you little idiots watching, the gift of a lifetime at AWF presents Who Let The Dogs Out? I, Stony Claus, I'm gonna give you something you've been waiting for for a long, long time. I'm gonna get rid of that little boy that's been on the naughty list. I am going to get rid of Petey Brown, AKA Petey Clown, once and for all, if he has the jingle balls to accept my challenge for the first ever holiday street fight. That's right, Petey Brown, I want you. I wanna cross your name off of that naughty list forever. One-on-one, -on -one, no hijinks, no cheating, just two men in a ring surrounded by gifts, surrounded by presents, surrounded by things like this Christmas tree that I will brick over my head and shove right up your you-know-what. Things like this Christmas wreath 
that I will use to choke you to death. Petey Brown, if you've got the jingle balls, then just say it. Just say you accept the challenge. I already know there's a 99% chance that you will not accept this challenge and you will let down all of the little hedgehogs, all of the little programmers, all of the program fans around the world, the only people that are watching this godforsaken infomercial on 45 TV, which by the way, sucks. With that being said, I feel sorry for every last member of the PD party because after Saturday, the 18th of December, oh, it's gonna be like Christmas coming early for all the little programmers. But for the members of the PD party, not so much. It's gonna be not a Christmas miracle, but a Christmas tragedy when I, Stony Claus, Stonehenge, get rid of Petey Brown and put an X across his name on that naughty list once and for all and prove in the end everybody must get stoned. And not only that, they must all get with the program. Yeah! Yeah! Ah, the holiday season. Gotta love it. Time for fun and a time for reflection. And your boy downtown PD Brown has a lot to reflect on in 2021. Was the AWF TV champion? I lost AWF TV championship. I was the MIW champion. And I lost the MIW championship. All with the program somehow involved. But luckily the last time I was at AWF, I defeated that big, dumb, doofus, Shrek-looking Stonehenge. But after the match, I was attacked by his cronies and Sorry, I know we're trying to do the end of your wrap up. I really gotta take this. I'm expecting an important phone call. Hello? Hello? Oh, what's up, doggy? What's up, JJ? Y yeah? Stonehenge is talking trash again online. He wants a holiday street fight? Well, hell yeah, doggy. I'm always down for some holiday spirit, holiday parties. That's why they call me the Prince of Party. December 18th, AWF. Well, you told me about it, doggy. JJ, you win? Hell yeah, you bring the holiday spirit, I'll bring the holiday cheer. It's not gonna be Stonehenge's you. Stonehenge, I don't know if you caught that, probably eavesdropping like you always do. It's on, you and me, holiday street fight. December 18th, AWF. Let's dance. I have a message for AWF, specifically Tony Dimitri. How you doing, Tony? It's Jackson P. Larkin here. And I just want you to know that I know that you've seen the injustice that happened the last time I made my presence felt at AWF. I know that you've seen a referee count to three and award me the championship. And I know you've seen the program interfere in the match, and I still overcame those odds. But yet, somehow, some way, I don't have a title around my waist. So you have left me no choice, my friend. Until I get what I deserve, your referees, they're in danger. The locker room, they're in danger. Kyle Pro, and especially Kyle Pro in the program, they are all in danger until you fix what was wrong and I get what I deserve. Here's the thing. This is the only warning I'm gonna give you, Dimitri, and I'm not giving you a lot of time to fix this. Give me what I deserve in a timely manner or else it's curtains for your whole company. I'll be seeing you very soon, friend. champion, 
God's champion and Eric Esnight, the 13th disciple. We are the prodigal sons. We will show AWF the way, the truth, and the light. Rip Studwell, James Thomas. We have a history. You've disrespected us, and for that you've already been judged. But all, all is forgiven. The prodigal sons represent forgiveness, and there's always a second chance. You may never be chosen by both of us, but you and all of AWF have a chance to be God. AWF's last and final show of 2021 this Saturday at Lake Mills, Iowa, inside the Community School of Lake Mills. But their opponent, I have my final 2021 match for AWF. Putting up my heavyweight championship is Yellow Dog. Hmm. Yellow Dog, Mills Lake School has Bulldogs. But the one thing that they both have in common is that they both roll over on every single opponent and never get the win. <laughs> see, see, that, that's pretty cool. They actually learned a trick for once. But Yellow Dog, let's be serious for once. You can made your mark anywhere else. You can made your territory anywhere else. I mean, anywhere. You could have just made your mark at a tree. You could have made your mark over by the fire hydrant. <laughs> Especially, you could have just made your mark on your grandparents' carpet in the house. But no, you have to make your mark. Make your own territory spot to be in the ring to face not just a competitor, not just one man, but the only real champ here in Minnesota and the world. The pro that runs a show, you look at him, Kyle Pro, baby. But Yellow Dog, from every competitor that I have faced the rest of 2021, has been success from not just Kyle Pro, but the program itself. We've been running shot of AWF for the entire 2021, and we're going to keep on going and keep on growing in 2022. And Yell Dog. I bought one more trick, one last and final trick of the end of 21. It's for you to roll over and just let me pick you clean and sweep. Because that's how it's been from everyone else. It's not a fact, it's a spoiler. And you can get with the program. Oh, oh. Okay. Join us for an awesome evening of AWF action just south of the Iowa-Minnesota border. It's the final AWF live event of 2021. It's Who Let the Dogs Out at Lake Mills Community School in Lake Mills, Iowa this Saturday night. The bell is set to ring at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. Tickets are $10 for adults, just 7 for students, except for those age 7 and under who get in free. Proceeds will go to benefit 
the Lake Mills Athletic Department. As we get set to close the book on 2021, which was certainly a challenging year for a lot of folks out there, we want to offer our heartfelt thanks to you, our AWF fans, without whom none of the spectacular moments we had would be possible. So for everyone out there, we wish you a magical holiday season and a special new year with all of your dreams coming true. So long. <laughs>